Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is a weekend cleaning routine. It is Saturday and the kids and I are just having a relaxed day at home. So they are gonna be spending the majority of the day outside and I figured it was a great opportunity to get going on some things that had gotten out of hand over these past few days. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda and I'm a stay at home mom to four little kids. We also homeschool them. So I'm getting going in the kitchen. It's later in the day. Like I said, it is a Saturday. So I like to keep things really relaxed and we usually have a pretty slow start to our Saturdays, but I still needed to come in and unload the dishwasher from the night before and get the breakfast dishes cleaned up. So that's what I'm working on right now. I do like to keep my cleaning routine going on the weekends. I've talked about that before. I'm usually doing stuff on Sundays to prepare and get ready for the week, um, but having four little kids, if I take a day off or even really half a day, the house just gets so messy. And some of you have said that, you know, the house doesn't look all that messy. Um, I'm not a clutter person, that's for sure. I'm constantly picking things up, so my home doesn't look super crazy messy full of toys and clothes everywhere and things like that but believe me with four little kids it gets out of hand so fast and i would not say that it is clean all the time it's for sure not the camera doesn't pick up a lot of stuff but the countertops are usually full of crumbs the floors get horrible really really fast and like i said i'm just constantly constantly picking up after the kids so don't think that just because it's not full of a whole bunch of stuff and it's super messy looking that it's clean. I wouldn't say that it is. Also, if you guys see me looking out the window quite a bit, um, like I said, the kids are outside. That window looks out the front yard and they were out there playing. So I was talking to the boys for a little bit there. If you guys have watched my channel before, I'm sure you know that my kids love to come in and help. So Nora's gonna be in and out a little bit for this video. She was wanting to help me out. I've always got at least one load of laundry rotating through the washer and the dryer every single day. Again, just given that we're a six member family, I'm always doing laundry. And then I did wanna wash down the washer and dryer. And I've talked about before that I love this method, glass and surface cleaner. These sort of chores, I do wait until the weekend to do things like this most of the time, just because between homeschooling and um, you know the rest of the housework and then the fact that the kids are still really young, I just don't have time to get to this kind of thing during the week. So I love to do these sorts of things on the weekends. The Method Glass and Surface Cleaner uh, works really well on stainless steel as well. So I've talked about before that I like to use it on my appliances. So I'm just coming in to wipe everything down and then I am gonna be wiping down my microwave. I do stay on top of that so it's not gonna take much. I just go in with a hot soapy rag and a little bit of dish soap. So this is something that I'm sure all of you fellow mamas can relate to. Last night while I was making dinner, um, it's a struggle with little kids and I got distracted because my baby was upset and the dinner boiled over onto the stovetop. So I needed to come in and wipe it down and I love that Wyman's glass stovetop cleaner. I've used it before. It's so easy. You just put it on the stovetop and then use a dry rag or a paper towel and buff it right out. And you guys will see at the end of this, um, I got quite a bit off. It was actually pretty gross and it was on there. I had to put some extra on there because 
it was really, really stuck on, but this stuff is incredible and it did get it all off. So at this point, I've got the dishwasher going. Those dishes that I had sent out were dry, so I'm getting those put away and I'm gonna be wiping down all of the counters and just kind of picking things up. The kids at this point have had their lunch, so I just wanted to get the kitchen sort of shut down for at least a few hours before they wanted snack time again for the afternoon. And then I'm gonna be coming in and cleaning our stools. So these kids love their yogurt and that is what is on these things all the time. So I had to come in and clean them off. I like to give them a really, really good scrub down every now and then, and then I'm putting them up on the countertop just to get the floor clear for when I need to vacuum later on. So at this point, Nora wanted to come in and check on the laundry and it was ready to turn over. And as you can see by her dirty little feet, she had been running around outside having a grand old time. We have some neighbors that live behind us and they have some older boys that are like high school age, I think. And they have four wheelers and quads, you know, dirt bikes and all that. And they were out with those um, in the fields behind us. So the kids were having a great time watching them, but she wanted to come in and help with that. And then I had her come into our office homeschool area and wipe everything down because the kids had been playing in here earlier this morning and there was quite a mess. This place too long. So at this point I wanted to get everything cleaned up and ready for quiet time. Um, my kiddos don't really nap too much anymore. Sometimes my three-year-old will, but most of the time they just go to their separate areas and we have about an hour or two of quiet time depending on how our day has gone because they've been outside a lot today. I did want them to have that rest time, but I really like to get the home cleaned up so that when we're done with quiet time, it's not a huge trash mess. That's why. So next I wanted to start on the floors. I am usually vacuuming slash sweeping twice a day. I usually do this once during the day and then I'll wait until the evening or even after the kids have gone to bed and then I'll do the floors again and then mopping and all that. Most of the time I like to wait until the evenings unless it's really, really bad. So I've now switched out the heads on the vacuum cleaner. This is the torque drive head. Um, this one has a lot more suction as you can see from vacuuming that little rug. It's specifically for the carpeted areas. 
So now I'm just going over all of these and that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys found this motivational. The weekends are kind of hard to keep going on cleaning routines and maybe you're not in a position like me where you need to. Maybe you can take a day off. I look forward to that someday. But with my kids being so young, I just can't do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys with the next one.